So going over what changes I made, the printer is uh, pretty much stock, no new printer parts added uh, to make it flipped. Uh, the gantry is flipped on the Z idlers on the point where they mount to the linear rails. Um, so and in the clipper configurations, I had to just flip um, the motors to the connections. So what was Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3 was flipped over. So Z0 becomes Z3, Z3 becomes Z0, Z1 becomes Z2, Z2 becomes Z1. I had to remove the drag chains for all three of them because when it, um, the gantry was going up and down, or Z positive or negative, it was locking up the whole uh, gantry. And when it, uh, the tool head was moving for X positive or negative, it was uh, jamming it and tool head to hit Z zero. I had to disable the Z and stuff because the pin kept falling off after every time it tried to level stuff. To move the heat bed from the bottom to the top, I had to change out all the wires for the heat bed. Lastly, I had to change out the bolts holding the bed from M316 through M320s. Add these uh, as spacers too. So when the uh, gantry goes up, uh, it doesn't mess with the Z idlers. Uh, the Z joints have enough clearance between the idlers and the jo uh, joints. So does it work? Yes, it does. Uh, it works very well. I was able to repl uh, print the all, replace all these parts from a B uh, from PLA to ABS plus, and here are the original parts. Uh, I printed these off the LK4 in PLA. Assembled the printer. Then I use the upside down way to print all the cur all the parts you see right now in uh, ABS and this wore on 0 0.1 I was also able to print all these uh, switch wire parts converting my LK4 to a uh, switch wire and I was even able to print um, a stealth burner and use it on the Voron 2.4 for a while before it broke down so some of the drawbacks I immediately noticed um, was the the part cooling ducts were melting pretty quickly so this is like the third or fourth set replacement uh, same thing with the sock for the heater block they're getting worn out pretty quickly and uh, the heater block is very dirty sometimes the filament burns uh, uh, falls back down if it didn't get uh, st stuck well to the bed uh, another thing is this increased vibrations and it's probably because the weight is now of the heat bed on the top and it's vibrating more. It is starting to uh, deform. It's starting to droop from the edge and like from the center. It's like a water drop effect. And because of that, the bed uh, parts are sometimes not sticking 100% well and uh, falling off. So I had to put a lot of glue stick and level the bed extremely well for it to work so which brings me to answer the question why why all of this work and it comes down to because of this filament uh the esun abs plus uh the main reason i got a war on 2.4 was to uh, print all the difficult filaments that require enclosure the all metal extruder, a very uh, we go uh, all those fancy things to do all the fancy work. And uh, the first filament I got that was in PLA or PDG was this ABS plus, and I was trying to print, uh, and it kept failing. Uh, there was numerous issues uh, from layer adhesion to prints not sticking to the bed, and and I tried doing everything to tune it, uh, and. Um, in the slicer in the printer and uh, we got firmware too and uh, it came and uh, it worked for a while and then it started to not work again and it's like the fourth roll so the first roll was having the issues and it tuned it very fine uh, and it got to work then the second roll came in 
and it had a different set of issues and it was inconsistent but it was working so which uh, made me think that maybe it's not something wrong with the filament maybe something wrong with the whole printer or how i assemble things so i want to see if i can like cheat it uh with any imperfections i added uh by using the basic idea that as heat something heats up it, the heat rises right and since it's an enclosure the heat will be blocked up top so why don't i just put the bed up there and the parts will always be warm and as the the longer the uh temp oh my god the print goes on the more of the enclosure will gradually get warmer and the hottest part will still always be on the top so decided to to flip it at that point then uh realized maybe if it's if something's like this is happening maybe something wrong with the filament so i started ordering different brands of filament got uh poly maker poly light uh abs and asa and they were working just fine out of the box didn't need to do like uh dehumidify or put them in a container but i still did just to make sure everything was working fine appreciate uh watching so far thank you